everyone, it's Hatsy and I'm back with a build in The Sims 4. We're going to be building a tiny home today. Now, I actually built this live last night on stream and I wanted to share it like as soon as I built it. I was going to share the mansion part 2 that I did last week, but then I looked at the footage and I thought, oh, 35 minutes. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe today isn't my day for a 35 minute speed build voiceover because mm, I need a big story, I think, for that one. So I'll probably wait like maybe till tomorrow or the next day and then that'll be out but I won't leave it like too much longer I just really wanted to share this because I thought doing a build that was like a little bit unrelated to brats or like something that we've been doing is quite nice for a change because I usually have like a lot of things that link together but if you didn't know about brats week I did brats week last week and it was a series where like every single thing that I created that week was brats themed so like we did all the girls like well I think four of them and then like a penthouse inspired by brats and then like a mansion things like that like we had fun there was a video every day and there was a stream every night it was fun it was it was a lot of fun but I'm gonna be taking it easy tonight and I'm not gonna be streaming uh, it's Wednesday at the moment so I'll be back on tomorrow though which will be great and I'm excited for it. I always miss it when I don't um, but the links will be in the description below so that you can catch these streams when I do because that's when like I'll be talking about the build and like you can help me with it and stuff and we also had a picture that was right next to the build whilst we we're making this and that was really helpful because I was looking on Google for like pictures and you know, inspiration that I could take and that's it but I'll also be doing the single colour challenge which will be coming up soon the reason for me building a tiny home though was because i was talking about this single color challenge with my best friend kayla um, or one of my best friends and um she was saying no i know what you should do you should do tiny homes let's bring them back so i was thinking that's quite funny though because well i feel like everyone will <laughs> be thinking hang on tiny homes are round again like everybody's redoing them but I think it's funny because when you have a group of like friends that are all kind of doing the same content but also like different at the same time that's kind of <laughs> how we're doing it so if one does it then we're all gonna pretty much <laughs> just do it <laughs> but i think it's funny and also this tiny house is completely different to hers um but she suggested it she was like yeah you should do it you should definitely do it um so that was where the idea came from but this house was absolutely adorable I have to say I was under a lot of pressure like as I was building it though because I always get like really nervous like especially when I know that I've got an audience it's like oh no I know that people are gonna see me messing up if I mess up because usually like on these speed builds if I mess up I can correct things but sometimes like I'll leave I don't know a bit of wallpaper out or something and all the chats like that bit of wallpaper though come on fix it so <laughs> yeah I'm kind of half aware of that but yeah it's a lot of fun Anyway, today has been an interesting day because I've been filling out my Summer in the City forms. So what that means is it is a festival in London. I went there last year with my friends Molly and Steph. Very, very close friends. Some of my best friends, actually. Um, and we're doing it again this year. And I think Kayla's going to be coming as well. That's going to be exciting because she's going to fly over. And that's it. We're going to go to Summer in the City. So it's not like fully... I'd say fully confirmed yet. Yeah, I think it is. I think it pretty much is. I mean, I was filling out the forms today. But I think the scary thing for me is um, they were, like, asking me a load of questions about, like, what I'd want to do there. Like, would we want to do, like, a meet and greet? Would we want to do, like, a panel? If so, which panel? Like, what would we want to do on them? Etc. Like, so many just specific questions. I just ticked so many boxes. So I have no idea what's going to happen. I ticked fitness, okay? <laughs> Like, that was one of the boxes I ticked. I'm so nervous, because, like, if I turn up and they're like, right, that's it, you're segregated from all your friends, you're just doing fitness, then I'd be like, oh, this is frightening. But I've got a lot of time till then, and I've got a lot of time to, like, grow my second channel as well, um, which is Hatsy Fit, which I've been working on, and I've actually got a video up that's coming up probably, like, like around the same time as this, I guess. Um, but I've really been enjoying it and I'm taking it like incredibly seriously, just as seriously as like Hatsy. It's like my second channel though. Um, and I want to see how it goes and like if they want me to do a panel with like fitness and stuff, then I'll, I'll have a go. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. It's, it's going to be, it's going to be interesting and we're all going to be sharing a hotel, I think, which I'm really looking forward to. It was so funny last time, though, because you really get to know people after, like, three days. 
Now it's different because like when me and Kayla, like I say lived together for a bit, I mean she came and like stayed with me for a week and that's, that's it. Um, but she didn't have like any bad habits, do you know what I mean? Like um, that's the first thing I noticed about people. But something I noticed when we were just sharing like a hotel room, this was just me, Molly and Steph though. We were all so messy. Like our stuff was everywhere. And um, as well, like we were going to bed really late and we we're getting up like very late as well. <laughs> and missing like half the day. So I really hope that this year we're gonna get up super early. Um, I remember as well the gym in the hotel that we stayed at was tragic it was so bad it was so hot in there and like i had to go every morning because okay this was the situation so i had somewhere in the city and i wrote this on the list as well because i did complain or i didn't like actually complain complain but i spoke about it in the video it's where they had the instagram lounge like all they had to eat like for the whole day for the creators was like donuts covered in sugar um like sweets chocolate just like random sugary things everything was just sugar like sugary drinks this and that and then um like in the youtube part they had bagels which were a little bit healthier but my issue was i was eating like four to six bagels a day because i was absolutely starving and there was nothing else to do um, so I was just like sitting there eating bagels and I felt so bad So like I made myself go to the gym like whilst I was there Even like if I was out the night before which was very likely because they had these parties that like we're all going to Um, because like it's really good for networking like it's really good for meeting other people But I'm hoping that this year I'm gonna go and I'm gonna be able to meet more of the fitness Like side of YouTube. That's what I'm hoping because the last time I went I ended up speaking to a lot of gamers, which was amazing. And like, of course, like gaming is 99.9% .9 what I do. But I think this year it's going to be interesting because I'm going to try and like branch out a little bit more. And also like with my gaming channel, like I'm hoping to be able to do sort of more things with that. Like, I don't know, maybe not all Sims, but like try and maybe play some like different games at some point. Because I had this really fun... I say I had this really fun, um, Kayla had this really fun stream the other day, but I went on it and uh, it was where she was streaming for like six hours and I played Minecraft with her and I loved it, like I loved it so much, it was so much fun, like we were building in Minecraft and like I'd love to share that kind of stuff just like on my channel, do you know what I mean, just like with friends, just like playing games and um, maybe we'd have like our own server or something, not trying to be like what everybody else is do you know what I mean? But just like having fun and just doing that and like if we come up with new ideas, I doubt there's any new ideas for like Minecraft but because they've all been done to death but I think it's still fun to just like play random games with friends sometimes rather than have like every single thing simmed. So I might try and do that and yeah if I do I'd appreciate the support so much because it's always very scary branching out. But going back to the build, I wasn't too sure about the interior at this point this was actually where I was telling some of the craziest stories ever, like live on stream, and I had receipts for them. So, okay, you might not know this, but like there'll be occasions where people doubt me and they'll be like, did that really happen though? Um, like after a really crazy story. And um, the thing is, the beauty about most of my stories is the fact that like I do actually have solid evidence, like I'll have pictures of things and weird things like that. So I was talking about this hotel room that I stayed at um, because when I first moved to Germany, I had to live in a hotel because we didn't have a house to begin with. So like we I were actually looking for a house and then we stayed in this hotel like whilst we were doing that and like the family was really well, nice like from what I knew, um, but like very close knit. Like they had like loads of pictures on the walls of like their sort of ancestry and like their great, great, great grandparents and stuff like that. Like they were very proud. The weird thing was they had something on the wall which I wasn't a big fan of. Like I say big fan, I was absolutely disgusted like the fact that they had it on the wall. It was a picture of like the family, like their ancestors with somebody in history that is a villain, I'd, I'd say. I'd say he's a horrible person and um, it really put me off. And like when I put two and two together later on in the week, I mean like you can find out like all the details on stream basically because all the videos will be stored. but. Yeah, basically there was someone that was like a very, very bad person, like terrible, did some awful things. And I think that he's pretty well known for doing those tragic things. 
Um, well, when I stayed there, it turned out to be a place that he used to go when he was alive. And um, yeah, when I did put two and two together, it like pretty much turned out that the hotel room that I had, they gave me the biggest one because like I was staying there for two weeks, I was their longest guest, etc. Um, or more than that. I was staying in the same room that he must have had, like 100%. And the room was so, so, so creepy. And like, I'm probably not making much sense to anybody that hasn't watched this stream. But like, you can find out all the details below um, if you want to. But yeah, it was so creepy because like all I remember about that room was just feeling just so creeped out. But I have a picture of it and I shared it um, last night. And I think a lot of you were shocked because like you, I don't know, I think you could see from the picture, like it just had a really bad, dark vibe there. And I just remember like when I used to walk up the stairs, um, not saying that it was like paranormal or haunted or anything like that, but I used to get the biggest headache that I've ever had, like to the point where I'd almost be collapsing going up to the third floor because it was just absolutely unbearable. It was so weird. And then I had a bit of an issue, like I had to call the police on this guy, like when I first got there, because I had a little bit of an issue with him sort of watching me and following me and like, especially on his bike. So I showed that as well, <laughs> like basically, um, he followed me on his bike one time, like 15 minutes away from the hotel. And I turned around and I snapped a picture as soon as I was back at the entrance of the hotel. And uh, I blurred his face out last night, but like I had receipts for stuff. So it was really cool to be able to actually like show you sort of almost not live footage, but you know what I mean? Like have you that involved in a story and be able to like show pictures and stuff. I, I don't know, I liked it. It was a nice change. Cause usually like you have to take my word for a lot of this stuff or like other people's word and stuff like that. But it was nice to be able to say, hey, look, this is the guy, this creepy guy, look, <laughs> here he is. Didn't show his face, of course, but I did blur it, so that's good. Yeah, so the house, I thought it looked pretty German. Maybe that was the link. Maybe I was talking about the fact that like I had a pretty bad time in Germany, like when I first got there. I don't see Germany like as a terrible place. In fact, I loved living there sometimes. It was just that I was surrounded by a lot of negativity when I was there, which was unfortunate, but you get bad people everywhere. Like you really do, you know, you get bad people like here in the UK, like I heard of something terrible happening in my town and that was only a couple of months ago. Um, so it really just depends like, well, on where you are and who you're surrounded by. But little things like that can either like make or break a place. And unfortunately, like I just had a really bad experience there, but I did meet some lovely people in Germany. It's just a shame that I wasn't there for like longer or we moved to a different area because, hey, I could have had a really cool time. Um, but there's that. Now, the thing is, because this house is so small, I had to make the bedrooms very small and I wasn't really keen on how they turned out, but you can change it if you want to and it will be on the gallery. So that'll be great. And the rooms. So there's one little single bedroom for a sim in here. Like it's tiny. And I read a comment that was like, I'd hate that room because I'm claustrophobic. And honestly, like I'm exactly the same. I hate small spaces. I really do. That was my phone. Who's, who is texting me now? Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> but uh, apart from that, the first text of the day, um, yeah, like I would be very claustrophobic if I had this room. It just, it wouldn't be something that I'd enjoy having. So yeah, ripping apart my build before I've even shared it. Congratulations to me. <laughs> Another thing is the bathroom. I actually like the bathroom. All bathrooms are small though, I think. I've only ever been in a ginormous bathroom one time and it was actually at someone's house. Well, like surprise, surprise. Um, but they had their bath in the middle of the room and it just caught me so off guard. Like all I was thinking was how does the water get there? But of course, like I was a kid. I was probably like 10 or 11 when I went around to the house and I saw it. So of course it goes underneath. Like, it's not rocket science, but it just really shocked me at the time because I'd never seen anything like that. And it was just really weird, really random. But that was it. And the last room was this bedroom. I put it in the wall a little bit to save some room. If you want me to do a very, very tiny build at some point, I can. I actually did a two by two one time. I just never shared it to YouTube because I, I don't even know why actually. I think it was because I couldn't think of anything good to say on the video because <laughs> I wasn't very happy with the build. I don't know, but maybe it was that. Maybe I will rebuild it at another time, but I enjoyed this one. Anyway, adding in some plants and a little dining area, which was like the conservatory bit. I thought it turned out really nicely. But that is the end of the build. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see all future ones. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.